taking a look at yet another bag I got from a surplus store recently. Uh, this is another medical bag. I have no idea really what this one is, though. I'm sure it had a, some sort of a special purpose, judging from the way the straps are and the way the pockets are positioned. But it's really going to work out well, I think, as a camera bag for me. So I'm going to start with the outside. It's uh, OD green, and it's uh, the fairly soft nylon. Sturdy, but soft, not thousand denier or anything. And it's got uh, a rectangle shape. There's no handle anywhere around the edge or the top. Underneath, it's got backpack type straps this way. And those are permanent at the top with like a seat belt type of material up here. And they're just attached, sewn into the bag. And then at the bottom, they are clips that go into D-rings and that's the backpack straps but then there's also these two that would be going horizontal or perpendicular to the backpack straps there's these two straps that are again with substantial hooks uh, clips and metal and uh, I'm not sure obviously for maybe hanging it this way or else you could carry it this way so it's sort of a backpack slash um, container. So there's the large zipper. I'll get to that in a second. I'm going to first look at these outside pockets. I'm going to go to overall dimensions real quick using just a quick measurement. It's about 18 inches long. It's about 13 inches wide and then about 8 inches deep. And that's just guessing because I don't have anything in it right now. It's just sort of holding up under the strength of the material it's made out of and the pockets around it. So going down the long side here, there's a long pocket and it uses the old Alice clip type of uh, clip here. It's nothing plastic. It's the old metal uh, stud going through sort of a spring clip. Very strong though. And there's this pocket that runs the entire length with a flap here and it's in good condition still so that's got plenty of life in it. And then what's cool is right behind the pocket, you've also got the same length pocket with, without a flap, just behind the pocket. So there's actually two long pockets there. And then coming along the, the short end here, there's another clip like that with a pocket. And then again, an area behind the pocket. So you've kind of got two pockets there. But you got to keep in mind the way you're holding this. The backpack, no problem. The long pocket, no problem. Gravity's going to hold something in here. But this is sort of horizontal when you're carrying it as a backpack. There would be nothing necessarily holding this second pocket in. The flap is no problem, but underneath it you'd have to worry about. There's nothing on this side, which is the side where these clips are. So I guess that's another top. And then over on the bottom, there's yet another similar pocket to the other short end with the uh, metal clip and then the pocket behind. So that's real handy. Um, at least for the way I was using it. Uh, but now let's get inside of it. So this back was priced at $9, and I thought for the size and everything, I needed a little uh, something that's larger than a briefcase but smaller than a big backpack, and I thought this might be a good option. I like buying surplus. It's definitely strong, well-made, good materials, made in America. But, um, you know, 10 bucks. I'm not just going to throw away 10 bucks. So I want to make sure it was worth my while. Of course, I'm going to open it up, and I take a look, and I see all these frays. So right away, I'm thinking, uh-oh, what's going on? So anyway, I go inside. The You can see it opens completely in a C shape. So not so there's a hinge here, basically, and then the zipper opens up. It's not the best zipper in the world. I'm going to say Vietnam era. It's a metal zipper on a cloth back, and you can see wherever the frays come through, it's going to get bound up. There's a sort of a flap to cover the zipper, and it gets stuck in there all the time just because of the size of the zipper. It's not the giant oversized zippers like they use in modern gear. So I'm going to suggest this thing's probably 70s, 80s era. So uh, looking inside, all this nylon's been frayed out. On the side, on the inside of the flap, there's some pockets that are, you know, I can barely fit my fingers in there so they're about the size of a large medical bandage and they say something but it's so faded it says something about the NSN number something about 
medical instruments, and then some more information. I just can barely read it. So uh, anyway, you've got a, a long cover here and then four pockets, and this is their cover. So when something's in them, I suppose they kind of puff it up. Now what someone has done is cut a slit here, and it's frayed pretty bad, and that gives them a giant pocket between the pouches and the lid. So somebody was smart and knew that there was a pocket there, and they created one, but they didn't finish it at all, and it's just all fraying right now. And that's getting in the way of the zippers and stuff. So once we're inside the bag here, we've got a large sort of double pouch area at the top, but it's only sewn on here and here, not back here. So it can either be pushed out of the way and just folded into its corner and not used. It can be brought out to be used as a divider. <coughs> Or you can put something underneath it and utilize the whole entire insides of the pack and then bring this down as, a, as sort of a divider on top again. So it's sort of a multi-pocket thing there. I've never really seen that set up before. On what would be the bottom, that's at the top of the backpack. At what would be the bottom of the backpack, we've got these tie-downs, maybe for an oxygen tank. I really have no idea, but there's just two nylon straps sewn in to the back so that they're a tie down and then just an open rectangle but on the bottom what would be the bottom of the backpack um, you've got this flap with some loops and some pockets for again maybe canisters of some kind hard to say so um, I thought this is a pretty neat little pack pretty con configurable pretty open I can open it quick its big disadvantage is the old-fashioned zipper but it was a well-made zipper so if you have to have a zipper from the time this is a good one but of course there was all this frayed stuff so a guy was walking by at the surplus store and asked if everything was all right and I said well I tell you what this thing's all frayed on the inside it's gonna take me some work to get this thing into work in order can I get anything taken off of the price and it was ten dollars anyway long story short they brought it down to six bucks so of course for six bucks I figure it's definitely worth uh, any amount of work I have to do to those insides to get rid of those frays and I'll probably just take a lighter to them I'll probably cut off these straps because I just can't figure out what to do with them um, and then uh, that'll let me use it as a backpack and it's not the perfect backpack but for a six dollar backpack I think it's really well made I was gonna say the reason I like it too is I put my cameras in this top pocket tripod in this side pocket and then I had my sunglasses in a hard case on this bottom pocket so I can just real easily reach down grab my sunglasses or flip back to my inside regular glasses and then uh, have my cameras handy and then of course tripods handy and it was actually able to uh, keep both the tripod and a thing of water right on the outside and that's pretty handy if I want a uh, throw like a, a bandana or something down this pocket I could or potentially keep the tripod in this unflap section, in the section that doesn't have a flap, so that I can get easy access to it. Something like this little tripod, it's real easy to keep in there, right along with the water, and uh, makes it easy to grab. So, it's a little $6 medical pouch. Let's see how it does.